Which you guys, today I'm going to show you the perfect way to install Windows 11 or Windows 10 on anything. That means any unsupported hardware or supported hardware, this is the best method to install Windows. Download Windows 11 from Microsoft's website, choose your language, and basically what this is going to do is confirm this and it will validate your request and give you a download link to download the 64-bit version of Windows 11. Once this is downloaded, we can use this to create our perfect uh, Windows 11 install. So what we're going to do is first head over to Windows Answer File Generator, select either Windows 10 or Windows 11 MBR or Windows 10 Windows 11 UEFI. MBR is for older systems, legacy hardware, and UEFI is for more modern computers. So I'm going to go for UEFI. In, inside these boxes, you need to put in your required information that you want, for instance, your area of location, and you can put inside here your product key if you want to, if it's just for that one computer. If it's for multiple computers, just leave the default key inside there. Next, it's going to say, do you want to accept the EULA and skip activation and all that stuff? I'm going to say yes for this because it will speed the installation process up. We won't have to do any of that because it's all already got the answer file right here. So you can put in your computer name and your organization in there as well if you want to. Moving on down to regional settings here, we need to now give it their keyboard and input method, which is going to be English United Kingdom. And basically, we're going to go down and select ours. You can select whatever yours is in your country, but mine's United Kingdom and English. So let's go ahead and select all of these, the time zone, the language, all that sort of stuff will be English United Kingdom for myself. Once you've got this done, we can then go for the out of box experience section. Let me just quickly check mark these. It's quite a few of them. Just need to make sure you got your time zone correct. And once we've got this last bit done, let me just try and find this last one. It's down there somewhere. There it is. Okay. So let's move on to the outer box of experience here. Network location, you can put home or wherever you like. Turn on express settings, we're going to leave that on. And also hide a EULA page, that'll say yes, so we don't want to go through that again. And then you'll have a bunch of settings like disable daylight uh, time set, and you've also got hide your wireless setup in OOBE. And skip machine OOBE, and you can say yes here, skip user OOBE. Yes, and then you can change the control panel view, whether you want a classic view or, or you want your category and control panel size. I'm going to leave that as large. And again, you can make this uh, whatever size you'd like. Now we're going to move on down to the wipe disk section. This is going to wipe the disk. We're going to say yes here. Also install on disk zero. That's what we want to do here. That's the normal location. You can change the main partition label to whatever you like. I'm going to call this Windows 11. And we can leave it on the main partition letter C. Username. You can give that a username if you wish. And you can give it a description and a password if you want to, if you want to force them to sign in. I'm just going to leave that as is. But if you want a more generic name, you can put uh, some sort of generic name in there if you wish. Once you're done, download your answer file. And then what we need to do is keep this file and we're going to insert this into our ISO. And this is going to help us. We're going to use AnyBurn for this. So download AnyBurn. They do have a, a free version, which we're going to download here. Get this downloaded. Once we've got this installed, this will allow us to manipulate the ISO file and put in the answer file that we've just created on that site there. Let's go ahead and open up AnyBurn and get this installed. Click I agree and then click on install and it will go ahead, click next and then close. And it's going to launch the application. Now from here, we can click on edit image file because we want to edit that ISO file. So click edit image file and then we need to navigate to where that image file is, which is going to be inside our download section here. So let me go ahead and go to downloads and there it is right there, Windows 11 and it's got the file there. So click open. And now we can click next. And all we need to do here now is click add. And then we can add in our answer file that we just created on that website. So let's go ahead and select our file. It's a bit of a small window, this one. 
I can make it bigger, but let me just come down here. I know it's this big file here that will do. There you go. And that's now added in there. And this is our answer file, which is going to speed the process up. Click next. And then we can now select right here. We can give it a name. I want to change the name because I don't want it the same. I want to be able to know this is our auto file. So we can just take this last bit off here and type auto. There we go. And that will uh, let us know that that ISO file is our auto install file. So let's now click on create new. And this will then go off and start to create that ISO file with our answer file installed in there. So when we go to install Windows now, it's going to skip through all of that setup process where it wants you to click on this, click on that, disable a bunch of settings. We don't have to worry about all of this during the installation process anymore. But now what we need to do is get this onto our USB flash drive. So we're going to download Rufus here. And uh, you can download the portable version or the installation version. Once we've got our uh, drive installed here, this is our Windows Auto USB flash drive I've got installed here. I need to select the ISO image. So let's go ahead and click on select. And here it is right here. Make sure it's the one that's got auto on the end of it because that's the one we've just created. And we've now got that selected. Now you can choose right here the standard Windows installation. We're choosing N uh, GPT here because we've got a newer computer and we've set it up for GPT UEFI. So that's what we're going to go for here. This is more modern computers. You can give it a label name if you want to. I'm leaving all this as is. Click Start, and this will then get for the next section where we can now choose some more settings. We can remove the requirements for online Microsoft account. You can also remove uh, the requirement for four gigabyte plus RAM, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. So if you're on older systems, you could use this method on there if you wanted to as well. You can give it a computer name if you wanted to. We've already got that set up in our answer file, but I'll leave that as is. Um, but you can change this to whatever you like here. And again, disable uh, data collecting, skip privacy op questions and options, and also disable the BitLocker uh, automatic device encryption here. So we're gonna disable that and click OK. And now it's gonna format that USB flash drive and uh, I'll speed that process up and then click close. And now we're ready to install it. Now I'm gonna use the ISO file to install. So we'll skip that little bit out during the installation because obviously I'm using a virtual machine here for quickness. Uh, but if I plug that in, it would use exactly those settings there. But this will skip right the way through because I'm using the ISO file with my answer file here. And you can see it just went and skipped right away through and I'll speed this part up here so you can see how quick and easy this would be to install onto any computer, whether it would be supported or unsupported, it won't matter. Uh, it will just go ahead and install it. Of course, obviously, if you're using the same license key there, it's not going to be good for multiple computers. You would need to leave the generic key inside there, which you can then change at a later date once you get into the desktop. And there you go. You can see right there, we have skipped through all of that stuff that it wants you to uh, go through. You know, even the setting up and also the setting up and the count, we've got this already done. So no more going through that palaver of having to go offline or use one of those fake emails. You can see here straight away, we're in the desktop and we've got our account all set up. Super easy to do, probably the best and perfect way of setting up a Windows-based system. Uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Also, if you want to join the growing community, by all means, join our Discord server. The link is in the video description, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.